I'm, I'm not being sarcastic here, um, but often we associate the magic with the FA Cup with unbelievable things happening, yeah. improbable things happening. And it's usually in Upstate, it's Maidstone United, it's, yeah. you know, whatever. I thought this was equally improbable <laughs> because you have Aston Villa who are so strong at home that had an incredible un unbeaten run yeah. and so on. This is a trophy that, you know, they can, obviously they, they want to finish top four, but this is also a trophy that they can realistically win yeah. uh, th this season or have a shot at. And they're playing a Chelsea team who are in the final of the other cup trophy. So for the silver crew, you got that covered, but also concede a ton of goals on the road. Uh, are coming off an absolute humiliation at home where yeah. they're booed off the pitch. They look at a very, very low ebb. And instead, what happens? They Pochettino wipe, wipes the wipe freaking the floor. floor with your man Unai Emery. Incredible, man. I don't think, stomps all over him. Yeah, and I don't think anybody saw really that coming. To be fair, there's clearly something about Chelsea and Cups and domestic Cup this season between the League Cup and the, and the FA Cup. Have... As bad as the, uh, the the first game between them at Stamford Bridge was, that nil nil draw, this one was incredible. And of course, if you score two goals in the first 20 minutes of a game like this, it a, makes a big impact if you score your first goal after 10 minutes. But Chelsea were outstanding. All the things that we mentioned the other day when we had a, a deep dive on them, the things that don't function, even the Caicedo Enzo midfield partnership that was so good. I thought I think that was time. a that, that yeah, was but, a drift. It was not the same Moises Caicedo. The, but, this is the original Moises Caicedo who was at Brighton who played last night. Yeah, not the dude who's been turning over Chelsea. It was incredible. Yeah, incre and for you know Villa and the Camara Douglas Luiz partnership, whether you rate them or not, it's, they have been bossing games at Villa Park this season. That midfield with McGinn and Tillemans and whoever Unai plays. They were like, they made them look, Caicedo and Enzo made them look like literally amateurs. What I thought was really interesting, and I thought maybe kind of brave as well from, from Pochettino, was we've been saying, hey, dude, you have one center forward, and it's Nico Jackson with all his limitations. So what does he do? He switches it up for this game. He plays Nico Jackson on the wing. He is... Cole Palmer sort of pretendo centrally, basically alongside yeah, even Gallagher. Gallagher, to be fair, was quite high up. Uh, and Madweke on, on the other side, yeah. right? In place of Raheem Sterling. So he rolled the dice here and it worked really, really well. Now we can debate whether, is this something you want to see again? Do you really want to have Cole Palmer as your front guy? Are you going to play like a, the old Spalletti strikerless system yeah. with, that he did play with Totti or whatever? But on the night, it absolutely it absolutely worked. They pressed high, pressed well. Madweke yeah, was, was a monster yeah. down the right. Yeah, with Malo Gusto as well. I mean, we said about Gusto before, great going forward. The limitations for now, and he's still a very young player, are defensively. You saw the penalty he gave away on Cunha against Wolves, for example. But his cross is inch perfect for Nico Jackson. And it's a great goal by Nico Jackson because he doesn't have to think about anything. The ball arrives, he's his head, he goes in. That's perfect, you know? Everything works for Chelsea defensively. Um, the centre-backs... Worked well. Chilwell was yeah. decent compared to the mistakes that he made against Forbes. I don't know, but but one of the problems that we've had was consistency with Chelsea this season anyway, because they've played well at times for yeah, 20 minutes. Yeah, no, yeah, they yeah, have yeah, 20 yeah. minutes, okay, 15 minutes. 20 minutes, half whatever. An hour. Right. Yeah, but but this time, for the first time this season, you know, it was decent. Let's see if they can follow that up in the week at the weekend. It was interesting too, because we had that situation where Thiago Silva's wife tweeted something for which he felt she had to apologize. Yeah. She said like, oh, you know, this is unacceptable. I'm paraphrasing Things have here, to change. Right? Things said. have to change, right? And then people said like, oh, look, she wants Pochettino sack, which I don't think she, just, I think, I don't, I don't think this was her thought at all. Could have like, been. Like, she didn't grow up a Chelsea fan. I'm she's fairly always sure. very vocal though. She's always Fine. been. She's great, Belle, but she's always. By the way, she apologizes. Thiago Silva's on the bench and he gets spiky. When he's asked, like, oh, why do you drop Thiago Silva? He's like, so, but I have other players, blah, blah, blah. Why are you talking about him? I'm like, I don't know. Maybe because he's your captain. He can't play like, three games in a week, though. That's all you had to say. That's all you had to say. Yeah, All yeah. you had to say is the dude's 38, whatever. We're, you know. Um, into celebration, uh, taking off the shirt, getting booked. I know there was that story about him leaving, and he's pointing to the ground. I'm right here. I'm right here. Dude. Chelsea are not going to sell into Fernandez <laughs> I mean, unless he goes to Saudi because they won't get their money back. They're going to take exactly. They spend 120 million on yeah, it. I, th I, th I think we can we can safely move on um, uh, from that whole notion. Yeah.